What's up YouTube? Welcome to yet another trip to the thrift. I'm actually headed to Sacramento today to go do some more thrifting. I'm gonna meet up with the good homie Cody Payne. He watches the channel and he's a local thrifter out in Sacramento so I figured I'd go meet up with him and see what kind of deals we can find. I'm kind of scrubbing today. I'm wearing the FIA fuck hat. I'm wearing a simple all black H&M tank with the polo pajama pants that I had tailored to turn into like kind of jogger slash pajama pant hybrid whatever the fuck with some Nike slides. Basically I'm just scrubbing because I like to be comfortable while I am thrifting. I'm also gonna eat this really unhealthy healthy shitty little caesar's pizza just dip that cheese pizza into ranch and uh yeah hopefully we find some deals there aren't any sales that i'm aware of going on today but whatever every day is a sale at a thrift store all right so as i mentioned earlier i just linked up with the homie cody Payne, as you guys can see his uh the link to his channel will actually be down in the description below so we're up here in eco thrift and citrus heights and i just came across this treasure map button down right here pretty dope short sleeve what's really cool about this is it actually has the islands of hawaii and for those of you that don't know when i graduated high school on a whim i just randomly moved to maui and so i lived right there on that island which is kind of cool but uh yeah i'm not gonna cop this but regardless pretty dope piece to come across someone got rid of all of their hawaii apparel here is yet another <laughs> Hawaiian shirt. Here is a Vans short sleeve button down right here. It's got this all over picnic table checkered pattern. It's marked at $6.98, which sadly orange tag is not on sale, but I'm gonna have to pass on this regardless just because I already have a Ralph Lauren button down that is very similar and this is a size large and I personally wear mediums, but regardless, really dope piece. All right, so I'm looking for some shorts for the summertime. And as you guys can see, I found these really dope Nautica shorts. It says Nautica. It's got this like gradient word print thing going on on the rear end of these shorts. They are size large, so I don't think they're gonna fit, but I'm still gonna try them on because they're super sick. 40 fucking dollars for a Mitchell and Ness t-shirt. Are they fucking high? Damn, this t-shirt is so raw. You got a Ness tee right here for $5. Definitely looks like it was designed by Riff Raff himself. You got the coding sand dunes with this guy riding a camel in the back. And you got the Sphinx right there. You got this really dope ass Johnny Benson t-shirt right here that the homie Cody Payne found. This thing is super sick, only $2.98. He's actually gonna pick this up himself. As you guys can see, it's double-sided. It's got printing on both sides, printing all over, super fucking raw. But yeah, definitely a cool find. You guys know how I like my outerwear. I found two really dope Banana Republic outerwear pieces. We got this one, which is size small, so it might not fit, but it's pretty dope. It's got this all over quilted pattern, but this one is super raw. There's no ribbing on the bottom neck or cuffs, all over quilted pattern. It is also size small, so I'm not sure if it's gonna fit, but this thing is fucking sick looking. Oh my God, I think I just found the most flame Columbia piece I've ever seen in my life. It's extra large, which is super sad. I'm still probably gonna cop it. Yellow tax would be $7.50. As you can see, you got this fucking red striping going all the way across. This is just so fucking sick. It's insane. I love this fucking piece. I love finding really dope vintage Columbia or North Face pieces, and I've never seen this piece before. I've never seen this design where the Columbia logo is so low, but man, this thing is dope, and definitely I'm gonna have to cop this. This piece right here is super dope. It's from ProFit. It's 2XL for $7. If you look at the embroidery on the breast, it says DuPont, and it says environmental respect, which I'm all about. I love that. I really wish I could cop this, and I really wish it would fit. However, it does not. If you guys know me, I'm all about taking care of where you guys live, taking care of your environment, taking care of the earth, so make sure you guys do not litter. Do not throw your trash on the ground. Just walk to a fucking garbage can, throw that shit away, don't be lazy. But yeah, take care of the environment. So this is the first thrift store, and so far this is the spoils that me and Cody have found. The homie Cody Payne found this really dope vintage Nike pullover. This thing is insane. The white looks like it's in good condition, really, really cool colorway as well. Definitely a clean piece. Okay, so I was definitely going to cop this really dope vintage Columbia jacket right here. As you can see, this is the dopest vintage Columbia jacket I've ever seen. So I was inspecting it to see if there's any damage to make sure that I can get it and resell it because it is extra large and it won't fit me. However, I came across the zipper. The zipper is broken. There is no more zipper, which is really sad because that's kind of like a deal murderer. There's no way I can get this with a broken zipper. Arriving at my main thrift store, Thrift Town on El Camino Drive in Sacramento. Let's get in and see what we can find. Yo, this 80s Gore-Tex is raw as fuck. You got this Mickey Mouse Varsity right here. It says Mickey across the back. With this sick patch game on the sleeve. Super dope vintage Adidas jacket. You got that big Adidas embroidery on the back right there with the three stripes on the back of the collar. Super, super sick. However, if you look right here, the zipper is broken. It looks like they fixed it. Someone just sneezed. If you look right here, then that was the most insane sneeze I've ever heard. But regardless, really, really dope piece. And I'm really bummed that the zipper's broken because I'm not going to pick this up to resale or wear. Art. Bro, Cody just came across this FUBU Fuego. We got a FUBU lookbook coming soon. Wait till you see the heat in that FUBU lookbook. I'm telling you, it's going to be ridiculous. Look at this flame-ass button down right here. 
with these raw ass dice buttons. It's almost worth buying just for these buttons. These things are raw. Super clean Ruka flannel. I'm definitely gonna cop this for resale. Sadly, it doesn't fit me personally, but I will definitely pass on the savings to you guys. It's extra large, $3.99, super dope piece. I only copped one thing at that thrift town, and normally you guys know that's where I find all my heat. However, there was only one thing today, but I just ran through there during their sale, and someone's car is getting stolen, so I need to check that. We are in the hood, so it makes sense. Look, at he's filming right there. I'm filming over here. We just hit the thrift town on Stockton. Let's get in and see what we can find. Hopefully, we find some heat, because the last thrift town, I only found one thing, and that's kind of disappointing for Thrift Town because you know I love Thrift Town. Man, I was super amped. I came across this 49ers jacket right here. It says 49ers across the front. It was only $7.99. You got this really dope San Francisco 49ers patch on the back. However, when you look down here, the uh, zipper is all fucked up. The zipper tracks or whatever is all fucked up. You can see like the stitching right there has come undone. Super, super huge bummer. You could never ever zip this thing up because it's just so fucked up unless you replace the entire zipper. That is super cheap for such a good quality jacket. However, I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, and there's some armpit damage. Man, whoever had this thing absolutely destroyed it. I cannot figure out why the fuck this is $79.99. So I found a bunch of Columbia heat. You got this vintage Columbia men's jacket right here. It's got this like turquoise colorway with a purple collar, which is super sick. It's only $2.99, so I'm probably gonna cop that for resale. It's size extra large. And then we got this really dope Columbia jacket right here, which is size extra large, $15.99. It's in perfect condition. It feels new, but I do not see any tags. Sad to say, it's not my size, and $15.99 is way too much to cop for resale. And then we have yet another really dope Columbia reversible jacket. You guys know I copped one of these recently. This right here is only $4, so if I don't see any marks or damage anywhere on it, I'm going to cop this for resale as well. It's black on the inside or outside, however you have it, and then turquoise, so you can have both colorways, which is super sick. This blue makes it look like they skinned 83 Smurfs just to make this thing super, super ridiculously soft. I really wish you guys could like feel this through the screen, but it's only $5.99, however, I'm going to have to pass just because I'm not really Feeling this blue, but still really dope piece from Fila. Kansas City Chiefs. Never been to Kansas City, but I chief. Okay, so once again, I only copped one thing from that thrift town, but I must say this bag contains the sickest shorts I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this futuristic ass ATM. Here I'm wearing this jacket, which looks like some kind of Dickies coat with some fucking baby blue fur interior. It's definitely gonna pull some bitches. Yo, this Tommy Hilfiger jacket is so fucking gangster. It's size large, but it fits like an extra large. However, the sleeves are really damaged, so I'm gonna have to pass up. Man, this thing is dope. Yo, I just found a YSL jacket. Look at this shit. The fucking craftsmanship is amazing. Look at that YSL on the zipper. So fucking clean. It does look like there's some lining that was unzipped from the inside, but pretty dope. It's marked at 298 orange tag, so it's not gonna be a sale, but still super raw. I might have to call this for one of the homies or for resale, regardless. Really, really dope piece. Fuck, I just found some 10 deep old school flannel piece right here. Really, really dope. Short sleeve button down. It's only $4, and hopefully it fits because it is size medium, but yeah, really, really dope regardless. What's up, everyone out there in YouTube land? You are now tuned in to yet another thrift recap. Honestly, in this trip to the thrift, I think I caught more fire than any trip to the thrift to date. I copped a lot of staples for my own personal wardrobe and I'm pretty stoked to show them off. So I did this trip to the thrift with the homie Cody and he actually laced it up with a bunch of free gear as well. I have some pieces that he gave me and a bunch of pieces that I picked up and basically I just have a lot of fucking flame to show you guys in the trip to the thrift. So I'm gonna try to make these explanations somewhat quick so that way this video is not like 30 minutes long. But definitely go check out his channel which will be linked below. If you guys go view the video that I am featured in, you guys will see the aftermath of an argument that I had with a security guard where basically he told me I couldn't film. We went back and forth for a while, I regulated on him, I stunned on him, I fucking decimated him in this little debate slash argument debacle thing that we had going on. And at the end of this feud, me and the security guard actually huddled over to the nearest registrar and we asked the supervisor if I was allowed to record there. The supervisor said yes, and then he apologized for the security guard saying that he was new. So big thank you to Ego Drift. I really do appreciate it. You guys are dope as fuck, and you guys regulated on the security guard that was trying to impede my thrifting experience. Oh, and also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as always, which is at the Starlight. That will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below, along with all of my other social media links. Now let's get into these fucking fire ass pickups because I picked up some heat. First I'm going to get into the pieces that I actually picked up in this trip to the thrift. I'm going to try to go in somewhat of an order. But anyways, first up we have this Banana Republic down feather jacket. As you can see, it's quilted. It's in this olive green colorway. It's in pristine condition. I got this for $10, which is a little bit more than I'm usually willing to spend. 
But like I said, it's in perfect condition. I really like quilted patterns. And overall, this is just a perfect jacket for winter time. And it's high fashion as fuck. Next up, I have this really dope Ruka flannel. And normally I don't cop flannels. I actually got this to resale, but it was in perfect condition. It's Ruka. It was $4. It's extra large, so I had to pick it up. And please, for the love of God, do not comment in the comments saying it's RVCA, not Ruka. If you guys Google or YouTube any video of a sponsored Ruka skateboarder, surfer, or whoever the fuck you want to freaking YouTube, I'm telling you, they will say Ruka. They do not call their company RBCA. You can look up actual interviews with the people that work at the company. It's Ruka. The next piece that I copped was probably my personal favorite piece. It was actually kind of a tie. Maybe like a four-way tie. I don't know. This is a tie right now with the Banana Republic piece and two more pieces I'm going to show you next. But it's these really dope Tommy Hilfiger shorts. As you can see, short shorts as fuck. If you go watch my trip to Dubai video, you know I've been putting on for the short short game for a minute now. Um, short shorts are the future. If you rock shorts past your knees, then I'm sorry you guys will be left behind But switch to short shorts and stick with the movement because that's high fashion as fuck And that's what you got to do really really dope 90s like Hilfiger athletics You can see it has this little strip that says Hilfiger athletics with the Tommy Hilfiger flag going all the way down It says Hilfiger athletics right down here as well These are a little bit big, but luckily due to the drawstrings I can tighten them to fit my small little child's waist but really sick, and these are definitely going to be a staple in the summertime. You will see me wearing these a lot. And I got a couple like little hipster pictures planned for my IG. Like I said, it's at the Star Life. Go follow that shit. So the Eco Thrift in Sacramento, even though they tried kicking me out because I was filming, they came through with the pickups, I'm telling you guys. And the piece that I'm about to show you guys, I'm actually not sure if it's real or not. I highly doubt it, but the quality is on point. It definitely feels real, but it's this really dope. YSL jacket. As you can see, it has YSL embroidered right there. You got YSL on the zipper and all the buttons. Basically, they have it engraved on anything that can be engraved on this entire jacket. You have these really natural earth tones with the olive green and some khaki accents. Really, really clean jacket. Super lightweight, super comfortable. The reason that I'm not sure if this is real is because it's actually missing the liner. So I'm not sure if there's just no tag or if the tag is on the liner itself. And the other reason is that the washing instructions are actually in different languages. So they have it in like Chinese and uh, Vietnamese and Korean, just all sorts of different Asian languages. But normally that would tell me that it's not real. However, I looked up online, and I guess back in the day, YSL actually used to sell their name out to a bunch of different companies. So other companies would make YSL pieces that were still technically YSL, but not from YSL. But I'm telling you, the quality of this piece is on point, which is the only reason I'm still kind of questioning whether it's real or fake. The quality is definitely there. However, I just don't imagine them marking a YSL jacket for $4. Maybe I got really lucky. I don't know. Regardless, I plan on keeping this for my own collection. By the way, I just looked at the tag. It was actually $3, not $4. Anyways, I plan on keeping this for my own collection anyway, so I don't really care whether it's real or fake. It's a really dope piece, and it will be worn in the future by moi. Sticking with the one-in-a-lifetime finds, I found this pristine condition 10 deep flannel. It is a short sleeve button down, which I have been looking for. It's 10 deep, which you guys know 10 deep is my favorite streetwear brand of all times. It's in pristine condition. It's really, really dope. It fits perfectly. It's size medium. And I picked this up for four bucks. Four freaking dollars for 10 deep. That's so fucking sick. I found this. It's basically brand fucking new. And I'm sorry that I'm cursing, but I just cannot help but release these curse words because I need to release this excitement that boils my blood when I see this 10 deep tag. Now sticking with the streetwear brands, I picked this uh, Crooks and Castle shirt up. This thing right here was $3, but it was actually 30% off or 25% off, I think. So I actually got this for like $2 and some change, like $2.20, which is not a bad deal at all. It's a pretty dope Crooks shirt. Okay, I need to fucking fire through these next pickups like an AK-47 because I got a lot of stuff to show off. And like I said, I did not want this video being too long. But these are the pieces that Cody hooked it up with. The first piece being this really dope Charizard baseball tee. And it fits me perfectly. You've got the blue sleeves, heathered gray front. It says Charizard number 06 Pokemon on the back. And then on the front, if you guys didn't see already, it has a little picture of Charizard breathing some fucking flames. He hooked it up with his Nike soccer tee. Dope ass Super Bowl tee, as you guys can see. Dope little 80s tank top right here. Then he hooked it up with a polo by Ralph Lauren tee. This was a little bit short on him, so it'll definitely fit me. As you can see, it's in a really dope navy colorway with a red horse. Now getting to the actual snapbacks that he hooked it up with. He hooked it up with some fucking heat, especially one in particular that I really love of these three. This piece right here might look familiar. I actually saw it in a trip to the thrift and I passed on it. 
and he actually gave it back to me because the homie Paul Cantu was kind of sad that I passed on it and he wanted it for his own collection. Then you got this karate martial arts snapback, which is pretty dope. And as you can see, it's somewhat curved. It fits really good. Super clean snapback. But the snapback that is so fucking raw, which you guys might have seen because I had it in second place when I should have had it in third place in the lineup of snapbacks, just briefly, but it's this dope ass Dale Earnhardt snapback right here. This thing is fucking sick. It's from Chase Authentics. It has a little Chase Authentics logo right there with the NASCAR logo below it, all embroidered. It says Dale Earnhardt Jr. with the number three, once again, all embroidered. Super, super dope. I was super stoked when he hooked it up with this. I saw this in one of his trips to the thrift, and I was like, man, that thing is fucking sick, but I did not expect him to hook it up with this. So when we linked up, he just threw that in. I was really stoked, and I just cannot thank dude enough. So yeah, once again, thank you, Cody, for all the dope gear, and thanks for going thrifting with me. It was a pleasure, my dude. We had a really good time. We probably will do a couple more trips to the thrift before I head to Washington, which is really, really soon. So yeah, Cody, we gotta go hit some more thrift stores. And thank you to everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I love all of you guys out there in YouTube land. And of course, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and also comment what your favorite piece was. Personally, for me, it's a tie between the Banana Republic jacket, the YSL jacket, the 10 Deep fucking flannel, the fucking Tommy Hilfiger shorts for sure. The Dale Earnhardt snapback. Oh my goodness, I just caught so much fucking heat. It's ridiculous. But let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. And while you're down there, of course, hit that like button like I said. And make sure you click on all those social media links and follow me on Instagram and all that shit. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and keep living the star life. Two hoes on one fucking pile. You ass no time on the flop. Name these hoes, see my dog with tell the fire out to see that dog. She got a be better to get this loud. I need a fat ass and yellow hydro. What you think this dead fall? Said the fuck you think this dead fall? Rep, rep says putting on my team. Perk says all in these jeans.